Bizarre and alarming things that happen to our body when we drown. Trigger warning. I've explained how it might feel to drown, but what exactly is happening on a physiological level? Majority of drownings occur in freshwater thanks to the popularity of pools and the fact that most of us live closer to lakes than the ocean. Before you even fall completely under the surface, you're drinking and snorting up huge gulps while fighting. Fresh water is deadlier than salt water because all of that water is quickly absorbed into your blood through your gastrointestinal tract, diluting it. This offers similar effects to water intoxication and can cause your blood vessels to rupture, triggering internal bleeding. As soon as water gets into your trachea, your larynx, the tube that connects your throat to the rest of your respiratory system, begins to wildly spasm. Your trachea will close, forcing more water into your lungs. This is the beginning of the end. Your oxygen levels in your blood are rapidly plummeting, all while carbon dioxide levels are rising until eventually, on average, around 87 seconds, you'll lose your ability to voluntarily hold your breath. This is a combination of your brain and blood levels fault. You will draw in a huge breath, inviting even more water into your body and lungs. The rise of carbon dioxide also induces severe panic. Salt water is different, but still grim. The salt water in your lungs will draw out blood, causing you to eventually more or less drown in your own bodily fluids, and it can take up to twice as long. It offers a better shot at rescue and survival, but a longer experience with utter panic and burning lungs and throat.